Welcome to your September weekend, which doesn't look half bad across the area. We are going to see much drier air filter in. That's going to make it feel more comfortable during the afternoon hours. Get rid of some of that humidity and the overnight hours. Well, we could see some 50s for lows. We'll go over that in just a second, but 89 for a high on Saturday, 87 on Sunday should be spectacular weather out there for whatever you're doing and rain chances. Well, they're going to be bottoming out with dry air coming in. You're not going to get rain Saturday, Sunday, Monday and more than likely Tuesday as well. I have a 30% chance for a couple of showers and thunderstorms as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. That's because we may get some tropical activity in the Gulf of Mexico where exactly that all tracks. There are a lot of question marks from run to run. The models are different, so we're just going to have to wait and see. So I'll keep it at 30% for now. But for the weekend, we do know this system that's in the Gulf will continue to dive down to the south. A weak front will come through the area that will bring much drier air in Saturday into Sunday from the central plains right here into central Texas. And again, it'll feel a lot more comfortable outside. But then we have the tropics that we're going to be watching here. And right now there's not much happening. A little spin here across the northern and northwestern Gulf of Mexico. That's with the system we've been watching. That's more upper level driven. But there is a chance as a wave moves out of the Caribbean and into the southern Gulf. It's not there yet. But late this weekend, going on to early next week, 40% chance that we could see some tropical development there. And again, where it goes, that is a big question mark as of right now. So let's see our future track again. Any isolated showers and storms will be dying out tonight. As we make our way into Saturday on into Sunday, notice how we dry out here across most of the Lone Star State. Far South Texas may still have some rain chances, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice weekend all across the state. Then we get into Monday on into Tuesday, and that's when things start to ride up here. And this particular model run says we would get some rain and maybe some decent rain as we head into Wednesday, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. It'll all depend on the track. Some model runs take this farther east. Some take it farther to the west. It's just something we're going to have to wait for here. But there is a possibility we could see some rain chances by the middle part of next week. How much way up in the air on that question. So for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Then tomorrow, highs in the upper 80s, maybe even a few low 90s as you head down toward Bryan College Station. But again, the air mass will be drying out, so it'll feel a little more comfortable outside. And as we look at your forecast, 89 goes to 87 on Sunday. But look at the lows, 58 degrees for Sunday morning, 55 on Monday morning, 88 that afternoon, 89 on Tuesday. And again, we're watching the tropics, see how much moisture can get up in here. Right now, I'll keep rain chances at 30% Wednesday and Thursday. Kayla will be watching this through the weekend. We may have to raise those rain chances or may have to lower them dependent on where any track of any system goes. And then as we make our way toward the next weekend, maybe an isolated thunderstorm there on Saturday. Temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And for the Brazos Valley, well, 90 degrees on Saturday, 88 on Sunday, 89 Monday. Lows at night getting down into the lower 60s. That's feeling good. But then we're watching the tropics. I think a slightly better chance for some thunderstorms. Thunderstorms will roll in Tuesday evening going into Wednesday, maybe early Thursday as well. So that's something we will be watching closely.